Hello friends, welcome back to the channel Shesak Tombo. I am your guide and today I am going to discuss in a very important topic that is what are the essential required documents that you need to upload during your CSR UGC net examination. And this video is going to be very important for all the CSR net aspirants for all the batches because every year the procedures are almost same and we need to follow the same process for the registration. So without wasting any time, let's continue with the video. Before proceeding to the document upload section, you need to be very careful and you need to keep few things in mind. The first point that I would like to discuss here is candidate's photograph. That is very important for all the CSR net aspirants and it's mandatory for the candidates to upload the candidate's photograph. Without submitting this candidate's photograph, your application form will get rejected. Therefore, do not forget to upload your photograph during your registration process. So under candidate's photograph, we can see several points out of which we can see the first sub point. Photograph should not be with cap or goggles. Photograph Photograph should cover 80% face without mask, visible including ears against white background. The next point we can see is that spectacles are allowed if being used regularly. Suppose you have uploaded a photo and in the photo you have clicked with the spectacle. So while appearing the exam, you need to also be very careful that you are wearing the spectacles. Otherwise, you may not allow to enter inside the examination hall. Therefore, it is very important for the candidates to keep this point in mind if you are uploading your spectacle photograph. The next point that you can see is that Polaroid and computer generated photos are not acceptable. So it must be a latest photograph that you have uploaded in the document section. Other points you can read by yourself and then keeping these things in mind, you can upload your document. The next point that I would like to discuss out here is that application without photograph shall be rejected. The photograph need not be attested. Candidates are advised to take 6 to 8 passport size colored photographs. So these points you need to keep in mind. Also, they have mentioned another important point. Passport size photograph is to be used for uploading on online application and also for pasting and attendance sheet at the examination center. Regarding this point, I have already discussed in my previous video where I have mentioned all the important points that you need to carry while visiting the examination center. So you need to carry an extra size passport photograph that you can paste on attendance sheet at the examination center. So this point you should not forget while visiting the examination center. So while uploading your passport photograph, you must be very careful that you are uploading the file size of the passport photograph that contain between 10 KB to 200 KB. If the file size is less than 10 KB or more than 200 KB, your passport photograph cannot be uploaded. Therefore, keeping this point in mind, you need to maintain the file size between 10 KB to 200 KB. Coming back to the next point, that is the candidate signature. This part is also very important and without uploading the candidate signature, the application form will be rejected. Therefore, every candidate need to upload its signature during the registration. They have clearly mentioned that the candidates are required to upload the full signature in running handwriting in the appropriate box given in the online application form. Writing full name in the box in capital letters would not be accepted as signature and the application form will be rejected. So while you are uploading your signature, it should be in the running handwriting and not in capital letters. Also, the signature should contain the full signature of your name, not half signature. And it should be on the white paper with blue or black ink pen. So I hope you are clear with this point and the file size must be between 4 KB to 30 KB. So these are the two documents that is candidate's photograph and candidate signature are mandatory for all the applicants to upload during the registration process. For the result evaded attestation form, I have already discussed in my previous video. The link is provided in my video description. You can click on the link and you can watch out the important point for the result evaded attestation form. The next point we have is the category certificate which you need to be uploaded during your registration process. For example, while selecting your category, except for general, other categories such as SC, ST, OBC and CL for the central list and general EWS. The candidates falls under this category they need to upload a category certificate in the document uploading section. So the fourth point is talking about the category certificate. The fifth point we have is PWD certificate and it is also to be uploaded by the candidates who falls under this category. The file size must be between 10 KB to 300 KB. It is further reminded that candidates must ensure that the uploading documents are clear and proper. So while uploading all the images that you'll be uploading in the document section, it must be clear and the alignment should be in a proper way. So these are the important points that you need to keep in mind while uploading your documents in the document upload section. Now I'll discuss some important points which has not been highlighted in the document upload section. The first point that I would like to mention here is that the OBC NCL candidates must know that those candidates who falls under OBC NCL central list, they can only apply for the OBC NCL. And if they belong to state list of OBC candidates, they are not OBC NCL and therefore they need to choose as general. So this point is very important for all the OBC NCL candidates. 
For the next point, that is single girl child, this option will be visible only if the candidates have selected the option female in the gender column. So if you are a single girl child in the family without brother or sister, you can select for this option. Out here, if you select the gender as female, this section will arise in the application form, where they have clearly mentioned that, are you single girl child in your family without brother or sister? If yes, then you need to select as yes. However, they have given another option where they have clearly mentioned that twin daughters or fraternal daughter are also eligible to select this option. So if you fall under this category, you can also click yes and then you can proceed with other parts. So this is what they are trying to explain us in this point. For the minority candidates, those candidates who falls under this minority community, you need to select the option as yes and then you need to fill up to which minority community you belong. So if you belong to any community, you can click on any of the community and then you can proceed with other parts. And regarding point number 9 and point number 10, and those candidates who falls under these categories, they are not required to upload the documents in the document upload section. But you need to be ready with the form fill up because if you clear the CSR net exam, the procedures as compared to the UGC net exam are totally different where the qualified candidate need to upload all the documents in order to receive the qualified certificate. So whatever information that you are providing in the application form, you need to keep all the records safely for the future need. Once you complete your application form section, you'll be forward to the next step where you need to upload all the documents and I've already discussed all the important points that you need to keep in mind in the document upload section. So this is the format that you can see on the screen. Out here you need to upload the photograph, the next one the signature, the next one we have the category certificate and the last one we have the PWD certificate. So while uploading all your documents, do not forget to verify the password and signature that you are uploading in this section. So once you complete this part, you will be forwarded to the next step where you need to pay the amount. So these are the informations that I would like to discuss in this video. If you have any queries regarding the CSR net exam form fill up, you can drop your comments in the comment section. With this, I want to end my video. Thank you and keep watching. Shisak Tombo.